From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. And good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on your MTN statewide news on this Monday. I'm Andrea Lutz. Montana continues to see cold temperatures and snowfall. We're going to start in Helena this afternoon where things remain frigid and there's continual snowfall at the state capitol, usually bustling with some sort of activity during the legislature. The grounds of the state capitol were seen today nearly empty. Of course, seeing a lone ground crew member clearing some of that fresh powder from the walkways in a snow sweeping machine. Still a lot to talk about when it comes to the weather. Let's get on over to meteorologist Miller Robson. He has a look outside. It sure is pretty though at the capitol. It is pretty uh, since Friday. Friday through yesterday, you got about six and a half inches of uh, snow and still trying to add to that as we go along today, but it is pretty out there. Now, outside of the snow, we've got to deal with the frigid temperatures. We've got a lot of minus signs on there. Minus right now, 12 right now in Lewistown and Livingston. We're at uh, minus two up there in northeast Montana. A little warmer off to the west and a bit warmer down there in northern Wyoming as well. But check out those wind chills. This is going to be the big thing. We've got wind chills anywhere between 20 or 20 and 40 below all the way through the rest of the week. We could see record high low temperatures and nighttime temperatures break records as well. How long is this big Arctic blast going to last and do we have any warm up on the way? I'll let you know with the main forecast coming up in just a bit. Andrea. All right, thanks Miller. New at noon, two skiers who were reported missing in Sanders County overnight are now found safe. Sanders County Dispatch says the father taken yesterday out by search and rescue crews the daughter was found by two bear air out of Kalispell. She was taken to a Bonners Ferry, Idaho hospital by ambulance. Sanders County received the report of those two missing skiers near McClay Creek near Noxon. That all took place on Saturday. A Utah avalanche caught on camera and a miraculous story of survivor. This happening Saturday in the Unta Mountains, approximately 200 miles east of Salt Lake City. The group of snowmobilers who captured this video were able to escape and dig themselves out of that snow. Sadly, though, another group of four skiers were not able to escape. They died in that massive slide. And a Missoula man is dead after a weekend snowmobile, snowmobile crash near Alberton. Investigators with the Montana High Patrol arrived at the scene at 9 p.m. on Saturday. The 45 year old man was driving that snowmobile south of Edith Peak Road. That's two miles north of the nine mile Ranger Station. That's when it happened, turning on a curve. He went off the left side of the road and struck a tree. His name has not yet been released. This afternoon, we're learning more about an avalanche in the Swan Mountain Range that left one snowmobiler dead. Those with the Flathead Avalanche Center say the slide was triggered in the wounded Buck Creek area. The rider was caught and buried. Three other members of the party were also caught and partially buried. They were able to dig themselves out and they found the man's backpack, but he did not survive. Dangerous avalanche conditions prevented rescuers from reaching the scene until yesterday. Well, police continue to investigate a rash of crashes and pileups on Interstate 90 over the weekend. This all happening in the eastern part of the state. On Sunday, one person seriously injured when five semi trucks, two pickups piled up six miles west of Park City. One of the semis caught fire. Then traffic was diverted all day from Park City to Columbus. Then on Saturday, another pile up in the same area involving 20 vehicles. In Mineral County, the Department of Criminal Investigations is assisting Mineral County with a deadly shooting. A father is believed to have shot and killed his children. One child, I should say, the other sent to a Spokane hospital. Saturday, Anthony Dasher's mother found her son and his four and seven year old sons shot in a home north of St. Regis. That four year old child was life lighted to a Spokane hospital. Dasher was found dead on the scene and is suspected of shooting the children. Well, we're catching up with Montana's governor, Greg Gianforte, one month after he's taken office. MTN's Casey Conlin gets Gianforte's thoughts on the current condition of our state in the pandemic. With our positivity race coming down from the peak in November, do you believe that Montana is out of the woods with the pandemic? I don't think we are. Uh, I, I am encouraged by what we've seen, hospitalizations are down to a fraction of what they've been. Uh, new infections are also down. Uh, we're seeing less deaths across the state, uh, but this virus is still with us and it's gonna be with us for a while. 
This vaccine is a great step in the right direction. I would just encourage folks, even if we remove this mask mandate, you gotta be careful. Uh, please continue to practice personal hygiene, uh, uh, social separation as possible. Uh, take the precautions you need to protect yourself and the ones you love. And continuing coverage now on the growing homeless population in Missoula, a temporary safe outdoor space is now home to 20 homeless Missoulians, but officials say there are still barriers to the encampment. MTN's Katie Miller tells us more. Reserve Street, one of Missoula, Montana's busiest roadways. What could be better? And it's home to one of Missoula's biggest issues. For all of us, it's been a cycle. Last April, tents lined the river. The trash is accumulated. Efforts are underway to relocate and house the homeless population on the north side of town. But 20 some people are still living under the Reserve Street Bridge. And some say the homeless camp brings trouble. Frustration in the community. When the pandemic hit, county leaders and advocates got together to think of solutions. Because restrictions lowered capacity limits on shelters. What the pandemic has shown nationwide, worldwide, is, is how fragile a person's existence is and security is. And with colder weather approaching, officials grew concerned. We spent the spring and summer trying to figure out what to do. And that's where this lot behind me comes in. Spencer Properties LLC is leasing it out to Hope Rescue Mission for $1 a year. We asked the landowners, why would you do that? They told us they're aware of the growing concerns on Reserve Street and wanted to offer their resources. They also say they hope this temporary space will be a cleaner, safer alternative for the people living here. The guests here, they are excited to um, see that for the first time that they're actually safe, that when they leave here, they can come back to their things, that when they go to sleep at night, they don't have to worry about um, the things that they once did. Hope Rescue Mission says the idea has been a success. There's, there's comments of, uh, like this is the best thing that's ever happened to me and they're in and they're still living in the tent in a you know in an area that they are and it's the best thing that's ever happened to them because of the relational experiences that we're having but still the location isn't permanent COVID response and not everyone is happy what's the exit strategy where are these people going to go you know, after this is over. I I'm against the project in all, um, in principle. What does that mean moving forward? County officials say they might consider an option like this again under the right circumstances. We now have proof that reaching out to people with these kind of wraparound services actually moves them forward and we should continue doing this, but we don't know where or in what form. So is it possible one of Missoula's biggest issues on one of Missoula's busiest streets found a solution during one of our most trying times. Let's make it a, a source of pride and, and something that uh, the community can really be proud of. In Missoula, Katie Miller, MTN News. All right, well, search and rescue operations are underway in the Himalayas, of course, looking for survivors. This after a glacier broke apart, triggered deadly floods. At least 15 people have been rescued, but more than 150 are still missing, and that death toll has risen to 14. And check this out, long decorations in Minneapolis. Residents are taking advantage of those sub-zero highs by setting out wet pants. It even turned into a fundraiser for charity. People plan to donate a dollar for every pair of frozen pants that they see. All right, we do have more ahead on this new news on this Monday, including how some good Samaritans are getting out their hats and gloves and snow shovels, and they're trekking through the snow, making it much easier for their neighbors to get through. But first, Miller's back up next with a look at that statewide weather forecast.